Hey everybody, we're back in the kitchen and I've set the camera up. I don't know if this is going to work very well, but I want to show you how I make white bean chicken chili, okay? First of all, over here in this pan, I've got some hot oil going right now. Hot olive oil, that is. And I'm going to add some garlic to it. Now here we go. We're going to put some garlic in. Oh, there you go. Woo. Maybe a little too hot on that one. All right, here we go. All right, three so not too hot. What we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it down now. Okay, all right. I think it's pretty calm now. And I got a big old bunch of jalapenos. There we go. I've got some fresh chopped onion. There you go. Tell you what, we'll finish this off, get the rest of this in that hot oil. This is the onions, the garlic, the oil, and the jalapenos. There we go, getting it all in there. Smells really good even in the early stages here. All right. Now we're going to give this a quick stir. There we go. Of course, what we want to do is try and get our, our peppers and our onions kind of translucent. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of cumin. There's our cumin. There we go. Actually, I add quite a bit of cumin. That kind of gives it that flavor you're looking for. Of course, a little pepper. There we go. And, of course, you always want to add some salt, too. I got to tell you, this smells incredible, guys. All right, let's give all that a little stir. Oh, yeah. Looking very nice. Can you see it in there? There you go. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit because it's cooled down some after I removed it with the garlic and such. So, I'm going to let that go for just a couple of minutes. Now, one thing, too, when I'm cooking, I don't know if you do this, is I like to clean as I go. It just makes it easier to operate in the kitchen. So I'm going to start setting some things aside that I know I don't need now. Put that up. We're pretty well done with all the spices. And now we're going to add our green chilies. Okay? Here goes the green chilies in there. Wow, this smells incredible. Now, we may have to add a little oil because it's soaking up a lot of that oil now before we add our ground chicken. Now, notice I went ahead and pre-seasoned my ground chicken. I went ahead and salt and peppered it. So it's all ready to go. All right, giving that a stir. It's got a really nice color to it now, gang. Okay, let's add our chicken. Okay. And then, of course, we got to kind of chop it up in there because it's all bound together. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yes, baby, this is starting to look good. Okay, let me turn the heat up because the chicken, of course, was a little cooler than the other things that were cooking in there. There we go. And yes, we're going to need to add a little bit more oil. And again, I use a good, high-quality olive oil from Trader Joe's. It's excellent. There we go. Remember that cumin we used? I think I'm going to add a little more. I love cumin. Cumin gives just a great flavor. You don't need any of that prepackaged chili stuff, okay? Don't need that. You can do your own seasoning. Here we go. Looking nice. Now, let's see. In a couple of minutes, too, we're going to add some chicken broth, okay? This is the uh, free-range organic chicken broth. Get it at Trader Joe's. It's a buck ninety-nine. It's a great bargain. You always want to have some chicken broth in the kitchen as well because it's just a good staple to have for uh, any number of recipes. Okay. Okay, our chicken is starting to brown up now a little bit. 
Let's see here. Yeah, we're getting a nice color to it. And this cooks really, as I mentioned, quick and easy. Okay. Give you another quick look. There you see our meat, our peppers, and our onions, our garlic. So, now we're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth. Okay, I'm adding maybe about a third of the box so far. It has four cups in there. Eventually we'll put it all in. Might even add a little more depending on how thick you like your chili. Okay, now let's add our, these are our organic white beans. Again, this is a white bean chicken chili. You could do it, of course, with red kidney beans as you prefer, but I really like the, the flavor that we get with the, with the white beans. And you could do one or two cans. Uh, since this, I've got a pound of ground chicken, I'm gonna go with two cans. There we go. It's looking really nice now. Holy cow. You talk about quick and easy. Okay. Here we go. I'll give you a quick look. There it is. And we'll probably add a little more of this chicken broth. And then we're going to let this cook. Oh. You can actually be ready to cook and eat it in 30 minutes. It just depends on how long you want to do it. And oh yeah. Got to add a little beer. Now, what kind of beer am I using today? I'm using a little bit of Deschutes Brewery Black Butte Porter. So we'll put some of that in there. Of course, a drink for the chef. Mighty good. Okay, now. <clears throat> when we added that beer, let me show you, too, what that did. It kind of adds... A little bit more of a bit of a caramel color to it. You see what I'm talking about? I can't quite get it up there for you, but oh, there you go. Maybe you can see it. Okay, so that's it, gang. Quick and easy chicken chili. Uh, white bean chicken chili, that is. I hope you enjoyed that. Here you go. Get another quick look at it as it's cooking in there. You guys have a great day. Hey, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Traveling with Jack and Pam. Have a good one.